Ohayou gozaimasu! Hi guys, this is Phil, a Kiwi in Japan, and welcome to my channel, Treasures for Trigger. Uh, today I'm going to be doing another opening, uh, which I'm always excited about. I've got the table uh, free of any clutter, uh, because it's a, a quite a, a big box. A bit of a, a hidden surprise that I didn't realise were uh, available uh, in Japan, so um, let's get straight to it into the post box substantial box this morning Let's see what we have inside Ooh the tape's coming off nice and easily which is good for camera <laughs> Okay, side here. So, something that I have been extremely um, surprised and happy to discover is that Japan, back in the day, released uh, a series of the G.I. Joe figures. And the G.I. Joe packaging is uh, really, really incredible. And uh, I've managed to come across something, again on Mercury, um, which had uh, a couple of vehicles and um, some of the figures as well. Let's, uh, let's go straight into the, uh, the big box first because I, I cannot wait. <laughs> oh yeah. And um, the customer has um, given me a, a quick message, all in Japanese of course. Um, about the condition and things to look out for. So, Cobra Hiss. Look at that. G.I. Joe. You beauty. Again, something that I uh, never had as a kid. And um, I think this is from maybe. 83 or an 84 release so one of the original year releases so in New Zealand I think G.I. Joe really didn't hit the market till about 85 86 so some of these earlier figures and vehicles weren't actually available so um, they were available in Japan apparently G.I. Joe was not very popular as a, as a, as a toy uh, series in Japan so they only released a, a limited line before they before they stopped producing them um, but anyway, I'm glad they produced some, um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, really awesome to get them now. Again, the Japanese tend to look after their uh, their stuff very well. Like the the box is still in great condition. There's no tears. Um, it's a little bit faded just due to age, but um, all right. So I've never owned one of these before, so. Um, this is uh, very, very exciting. Um, I'm not sure if I'll bother putting it together now in front of camera, but just so you get a, 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 a basic idea of... Uh, oh, that essentially goes like that, what it looks like. So it's had the stickers applied to it. Okay, you can see the, uh, the Cobra sign there. Fantastic! Awesome stuff. Okay, so that's the Cobra Hiss. And um, I'll keep the box up here too, because the box, the art, I mean, when you're a collector, one of the, uh, the things, one of the, one of the best things actually is the, uh, is the, uh, the packaging and the artwork of the, uh, of the boxes. Uh, also, another vehicle that came in this lot, uh, and it's a vehicle that I have uh, downstairs, uh, which is. Uh, unopened in box so it's uh, it's something that I can't actually display uh, as, a, as a figure um, so I was quite quite pleased to get this figure um, without a box but something that I can put my figures in and, and display and uh, uh, yes okay so we've got the co again another cover. This one doesn't have any stickers on it, unfortunately, but still in uh, perfect condition. 
probably worth quite a bit of money still. Um, is, I think the Japanese title is the, the Gyrocopter. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same title in, in English or not, but um, there he is. Outstanding. So cool. All right. And on top of that, I got a few of the uh, individual figures as well. Now, in the notes before I bought them, and I have to be very careful before I purchase, I need to translate um, into English the, the details of what's being sold so I, I know what I'm getting myself in for. And um, I, I checked, and uh, what he said in his description is that the figures here uh, were sort of junk items. So um, uh, he, for some reason, he decided to glue together the, the torso and the legs. Uh, I guess the O-ring inside um, uh, had, had worn away or snapped and um, perhaps he didn't know how to uh, put them back together properly again. And so, yeah, this is, an, this is one of the, the drivers for the Hiss and he's put it in a seated position, which is good. But yeah, you can't actually move him out of that, so that's a bit weird. But uh, anyway, I don't don't have this figure at all. And um, yeah, he can, uh, I guess he can sit in here nicely. So um, I don't mind, to be honest, as long as they display, display well. Um, that's all that matters to me, back on camera again. He actually gave me two two drivers for the Hiss. Um, I was very happy because the um, basically the Japanese series has figures from the 83, 84 and 85 lines and uh, they're, they're very expensive and hard to come by. Expensive on eBay, expensive on Trade Me back in New Zealand um, but again they're a little bit more readily available um, in Japan because they're not so popular um, so I can get them for a decent price. Yeah, we've got Zartan here, and again, it came with some of the weapons as well. Whoops. <laughs> uh, but yeah, his, uh, he's been glued together, which is, a bit, as I say, is a bit odd. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got a fan favourite. Uh, we have uh, Firefly. Again, comes with his uh, original gun. So I've got a, a Firefly. But I didn't have a, a gun for him, so now I can uh, again mi mix and match and uh, add the gun to uh, one of my one of my uh, better uh, versions of him. Baroness. So uh, these are all uh, all the Cobra all Cobra figures in this lot. No, um, no good guys or all, all the bad dudes. Which uh, again, I'm more than happy about. I've always been a fan of the uh, the baddies more so than the goodies. Uh, what's in here? I think this is a. Uh, Zartan's backpack. Yep, so that goes there. So yeah, a few, a few bits and pieces, a few goodies to go with um, with everything. So again, this, uh, going back to cost, this cost me uh, Ichiman Ni Senyen, so 10,000, oh, sorry, 12,000 yen, which is about $150. Um, but again, if I um, look at each thing individually, um, it's worth well over that, to be perfectly honest. Um, Dreadnought. And uh, the great thing about G.I. Joe's is that they're so small and light that they're very, um, very cheap to post back to New Zealand. So um, I've been able to send back a few figures actually, and uh, they're very popular in New Zealand. There's a, the hardcore fans uh, um, of G.I. Joe's in New Zealand, hardcore collectors as well. And so some of these older characters are, uh, are difficult to come by. And so um, I've sent a few back. And these, these are my cash cows, the G.I. Joe's. These are the ones that really um, I'm able to get good, um, good profit on. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think maybe this is the last wee package here. Some more bad guys. Yes, yeah, so I've got Destro here with his uh, with his backpack. My backpack. And his, an orig his original gun. His torso has been glued together, but uh, I don't really mind. Again, I've got copies of him that I can uh, put his accessories together with. That's no problem at all. Blood's legs have uh, come off here, but I'll sort that out later on. He's got a gun as well. And uh, another Cobra Commander, again, with his gun. Fantastic. So, uh, yes, one of the uh, great surprises in Japan, G.I. Joe, who would have figured. Um, uh, in a future video, I want to show you uh, some of the uh, carded figures that I have of the G.I. Joes. 
which uh, again the artwork uh, is, is slightly different the packaging is slightly different from the uh, American Hasbro release uh, the figures inside are the same um, but they look really really cool and um, yeah something which I have uh, enjoyed collecting a lot so yeah yo Joe thank you very much again Japan for these uh, fantastic um, uh, presents and treasures for me and I, I'm very happy to have these added to my collection so that's G.I. Joe. I will have some more videos about G.I. Joe, I'm sure, in future. So again, thank you very much for watching. This is Phil, a Kiwi in Japan. This is my channel, Treasures for Trigger. Please subscribe, please comment. Uh, see you next time around. Sayonara.